If you're trying to create serious animations in Roblox, there's one decision that will change everything about your workflow, and most creators get it wrong. The question is simple, should you use Moon Animator, or should you switch to Blender? At first glance, it looks like an easy choice. Moon Animator is designed for Roblox. It's been the standard for years. That's why almost every Roblox animator starts there. But something changed, and it matters more than most people realize. Roblox recently made every plugin cost real money. That means Moon Animator 2 is no longer free, it now costs $30 just to get started. And if you don't want to pay, you're stuck. The only alternatives are shady free versions or piracy, and that's not something most creators are willing to risk. This is where Blender becomes more than just a cool bonus tool. For many people, it's now the only legal, free option left. And while Blender is far more powerful than Moon Animator, it's also much harder to learn. You can't just drop in a rig and start animating like in studio. You have to import everything manually, set up bones, textures, lighting, keyframes, and rendering from scratch. Even getting a basic animation to look good in Blender takes more time and technical skill than people expect. But the end result? It can be insane. So what's the better choice? That depends entirely on what you're doing, and what kind of control you want. You can create amazing things in both tools, but the real difference isn't in features, it's in your goals. And before you even make that choice, there's something most animators forget, the basics. Here's the thing, if you do not do this, then this video is completely useless and it's not even gonna work for you. So click now on the screen to know the basics of Moon Animator 2, and see you in the next Matronix video.